<laughs> so lots of love. This is Unity, and this is a Unity moment. That's what I said. I was going to upload this video yesterday. Yeah, I went to the eye doctor to get a you know a yearly exam, eye doctor exam, and it was just interesting because. I don't got my eyes dilated. I get them dilated every year. And for some reason, it took forever for my eyes to come back. It took forever. And then like right now, I'm looking, everything looks blurry. It still looks blurry. I still, I'm still having the effects of um, that exam. It's crazy because I'm, I'm going back to the eye doctor um, I'm going back to the eye doctor this week coming up and I'm going to ask my doctor well, what was that about because literally I couldn't really I couldn't really work last night I couldn't really um I could have worked but I had to be like I had to be like this this on my um I mean I'm not um far I'm not far sighted I'm near sighted and I have astigmatism so I'm going back so I can get some contacts for um so I can get some contacts for so when I work out and stuff I don't have to worry about my glasses which these are old glasses and I got some new glasses that's coming and I also a designer pair um that I'm a treat to and um so I go back and get fitted um for some contacts and what else? Yeah, and I wanted to get like some fun color. You know how the contacts be having like little hearts, and little different things, you know, like little, but I have astigmatism, so my doctor told me that they don't really have those, those now. Probably like in a year or so they'll have them for the people that have astigmatism. I know my, my glasses, so I'm gonna take them off. Ooh, can't really see. <laughs> but, um, so my eyes are brown, but I'm thinking about getting like some um, purple, just something fun, like some violet. And I wanted some all black ones. And I was asking her about companies online. You know how they sell like the dolly eyes? And um, cause I'm gonna do some different looks. And um, she was telling me that you have to be really, really careful with those, those companies that sell those you know, the contacts be like 30 and 40 dollars online, it's different colors, she say because they um they put them in certain solutions and some people some people don't even went blind and, and I was like, Well what if you have them off for like an hour or so? She was like, Your eyes are precious and you don't wanna play around with it. So I guess I won't be ordering none of them, but I will, you know, we're gonna do like um try on different contacts when I go this week coming up back to the eye doctor. Hopefully I can um take y'all along with me. I don't know if I'd be able to record her. But she's a beautiful um Indian sister. Um she was cool. She she was really cool. This was my first time meeting her because my other eye doctor they closed down and then I I start I'm starting with her. But so how y'all think? I had some great contacts when I was in my twenties. How y'all think this is? Wait, let me my eye color. You might can't see, but my eyes are brown. They big too. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm supposed to be looking right here. So, how y'all think? What color contacts y'all think will look cute? I'm gonna do a lot of different looks. I'm gonna start doing a lot of different looks on YouTube. So. I just wanted to see, see what color y'all think will go with me. I know I won't do blue because it's creepy to me. <laughs> but I do like violet. Um, if I did do blue, it'd probably be like turquoise. I like turquoise. Um, so, it'll be something. And then they'll be prescribed. They will be. Um, so, that was one thing I want to talk about. Another thing I want to talk about was. Um, you know how we in this society, not all, but most, the majority, a lot of people, you know, they're religious, they think they talk about, you know, they be like, well, I'm trying to get my life together, I'm saved, I'm, or I took my shahada to become a Muslim, or I got my ex, or, you know, 
they go through these rituals to become these righteous people and they just be thinking about I just want to make it to the land of milk and honey or I want to make it to um, I want to make it to heaven I want to meet my maker and the pearly gates it's just like people just focus it's like they go to the mosque two or three times a week they go to church two or three times a week they go to the temple two or three times a week and the only thing they mainly is focused on is um, going to heaven or going to the hereafter or going to the paradise. It's just so interesting how we focus, we live to die. We live to die and we don't live to live because we don't have to wait till we die. To see heaven, we could create a heaven here, and I and I'm just thinking about you know you talk to people they be like well I'm just trying to go to heaven, I'm just trying to I remember one of my ex told me that he said I just want to make it to heaven, it is so crazy, it's side side view. The other day, I mean yesterday I um after I went to like all my appointments and stuff like that. I um I bump it, no this is the crazy part because I'm 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 like an energy person and, and I'm as let's say I was told I was a media a medium and I see a lot of things and all that I I used to do YouTube videos um, and I had a couple of videos like I did a video like when we in Houston died and it had got like a whole bunch of views and I was like a and I used to do readings and I stopped because it was taking a lot of energy. And then I had got sick with fibroids and I just couldn't do the videos and read people and it was a lot going on so I took a lot of those videos down because uh, people was blowing my emails up, can you do me reading, can you do me reading. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm always seeing things before they happen um, and it's still, it's still to this day, it's still to this day amaze me when I say something and literally it happened like right then. And we all have it. Um, but so yesterday I was, um, I thought I had left my eye doctor. I needed to go in Walmart and get me a, a couple of things. And as I was walking in, I was like, what if I walk in here and I see my ex? Mind you, I haven't seen him since 2013. I haven't seen him since 2013, but. The last time I talked to him was in January of this year. And um, we decided to just not even talk no more. So, the crazy part, I said, I said that, I said, I felt like I was going to see him when I walked into Walmart yesterday. And um, I seen him. I literally seen him when I walked in Walmart. And... Um, the, the, the interesting part was I spoke he spoke back and I just, just I just kept going and I got in line and it was crazy because I haven't seen him in a year we had started dating in 2001 and we mainly cut everything off completely January of this year but I hadn't seen him since September of 2013. That was my first time seeing him. And the crazy part was, I was okay. Like when I spoke, and he spoke back, and then I, I went, you know, check out. And then it, it, it was like, wow. I think I, it was like a shock because I said I was going to see him and I seen him, so I was so focused on that. But it's like when I got to the the counter and I had to pay for my food. I had like a slight panic attack. It was like the, the lady was talking to the, the cashier was talking to me and she was saying, um, your um, lipstick is pretty. I had on that Mac Royal lipstick. I really like it, but when it started going off, it started looking like pink. It looked like ombre. And, she, and I was, she kept saying your lipstick is pretty. And I was like, that's why everybody looking at me like, like when I was walking the world, everybody kept staring at me. And she was like, no, they stand at you because you're pretty. I was like, thank you. 
and I'm talking to her, but in the midst of me talking to her, you know how you be like a person be talking to you and it just be, you just be like, ding. And I could see my ex, the back of my ex from where I'm at. And I'm like, it's like, ding. And it's like, she talking, but I'm like, I see him, but I'm swiping my car. And then I literally was shaking as I was swiping. And then I started getting like hot like sweating a little bit, but I don't think nobody knew but me, it didn't. And then I see him turn as I was looking down, swiping and look my way. And then as um, I look back up, he, he was going out the door. And it's like, as soon as he go out the door, the panic attack went away. It was, it was so quick, it was slight. It was like, it was like, you count to, I say 10 or seven. And that's how quick it was. I'm like, why the hell did this happen? And it's like, we walked out, and then I walked out probably like a good five minutes after he walked out. And I went to the car, and then that was it. But it was like, how the hell that happened? You know, I have to do some meditation on that. Because um, that was weird. And um, so that was my one, just a random thing I wanted to share with y'all. So I guess this is my little quick unity moment, rambit, ra random thoughts, random moments in unity life. All right, so that's my